first up, we have Cam Akers, who dropped a 9 for 84 and 1 touchdown line this week for the Rams against San Francisco. Uh, rostered in 28% of ESPN leagues. Are you spending any fab on Cam Akers? I love, again, if, if you, from a couple of weeks ago when we did waivers and I said, who's the next crappy player that we're talking about? And it happened to be Cam Akers. Um, you know, since then, last week he had a touchdown. This week he had a touchdown. Um, so back to back weeks with a touchdown, one receiving one um, on the ground. He's, he's not really a receiving threat. So that that recep- receiving touchdown was definitely kind of an anomaly. Um I don't know. Like he, he's kind of a he's kind of a guy that seems like he might be coming on at least a little bit. Um, I I don't know who to trust in that backfield. Like Henderson's been okay, um, and it's kind of seemed like they were giving him the ball all the time. You know, weeks like five through ten, or or you know, just conceptually, I don't have Henderson on in my rosters. Um, but you look at his last three game logs, uh, seven for 28 and a, and a touchdown. Uh, week 11 against Tampa Bay, eight carries, five yards, two catches, four yards. Last week against San Francisco, 10 for 19, both back to back 1.9 weeks and half PPR. Um, so maybe they're starting to shift away from him a little bit and, and get to Cam Akers. Um, I mean, if you think that Cam Akers could be a league winner, um, I could understand why you might just go all in on Cam Akers um, as a flyer um, because he has been their most productive back for, for two weeks running now. Um, and they have pretty plus matchups, uh, especially week 15, 16 when they're against the Jets and then Seattle. So um, I, I get it. Um, I don't know how much fab you should be bidding. I think it comes to like, for me, this time of year, like I either go zero bids on people or I go all in on someone. Um, and you just have to decide if you think that they're the all in person or, you know, a dollar more than the next person that has the highest fab. If you're if you know what I'm saying. So like my strategy comes down to these you know, next three weeks where I save my sauce for you know, waiting for the injury or waiting for the running back that pops up or wide receiver that would pop up due to injury to make sure that I have more fab than the next closest person to get him. I don't know if Cam Akers fits that billing or not, but I can understand why you think that he might. So, okay, I guess I am pro Cam Akers. I'm, I'm mostly pro that schedule, but I also feel like Cam Akers is the best back in that backfield. Um, I really like the matchups going forward. I definitely think that he should be rostered. That really isn't a question for me in a, in at least 12 team leagues. I feel like he should definitely be rostered as for how much yeah, no doubt. I would spend on him. I would try to get him for cheap just because one week, I mean, he's, he's available in 70% of leagues one week. I don't think should send everybody rushing to the waiver wire. But those matchups are pretty. I would probably do 10 to 15%. I would do 10 to 15% if you really want them 20. But I would I would try to stick for less than 10. Yeah, and, and Malcolm Brown is obviously still there too. Um, but yep. I mean, he's a guy who's been totally dependent on touchdowns. And so, yeah, when, when he scored a touchdown, yeah, he's fine. But other than that, Honestly, his average is like three and a half points a week when he doesn't score a touchdown. So, like, you're not going to start him. He's not getting the touches that Akers is getting currently, um, or Henderson for those for that matter. So, if they're trying to, hey, the rookie running back knows better blocking protections and knows the offense better now, and we're going to give him more playing time, that would seem to make a good deal of sense of why Cam Akers might be stepping into the to to a main cog roll down the stretch. So I would agree with you on the fab spot. Um, I understand going lower. I understand going higher. It just kind of depends on what position you're in at this point. Whoa, didn't see you there. You can't sneak up on me like that. I'm sorry. I was just making some trades. How about you hit that subscribe button? I'll show you what it was. <laughs>